Hello, quick video on how to do um, ambient occlusion renders in Studio Max with Mental Ray with wire overlay. So, um, got a model, uh, got some, um, if we click on this and we go group and we go open group and select an item here. We've got, um, got it set to isoline display rather than having a really busy version of it or we'll keep it isoline display. And then we can go group and we can close the group. Right, so over in our render setup over here, um, all we need to do is we're going to do a material override. So um, this is quite good because we don't have to like rematerial all our items just to get this render out. We can do an override no matter what the materials are. We'll just override all those materials when the renderer hits and we'll just say we're going to use this material instead. Okay. And this material is this one here. It's a composite material. And in your composite material, we have a standard material with the um, ambient reflective occlusion shader in it. And um, we just got it set to sort of quite low, 100 uh, centimeter spread on it. And that will do that. And then we go back up to the top. So we're in the composite. And this is additive. And then underneath it, what we've got in here is just a standard material black but we said can you do it wire instead okay so that's that and then all we're going to do then is then you go to your um go to your uh, uh thing here and drag and drop that in here to mentor right over blah, 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 blah. we're done so yeah that's it so you just basically drag this in here and drop it and we'll instance it. So it's meant to write AO wires because that's what it's called. Okay, and then when we hit render, uh, when we hit render, blub, 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 so look, we'll get that's another version of it. We'll get a rendering with ambient occlusion and wire overlay, which is exactly what you want. Boom, boom, boom. This is on low settings, so it renders quite quickly. And basically, this is for me when I forget. <laughs> but you can use it too if you like. How do you do that then? Because you get you look on the internet and um, yeah, you get some interesting uh, text ways of doing it. And I just thought, well, just do a video, and then everyone can be happy. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, the other thing to remember when you're doing this is um, in global illumination, you turn it off. And in tools, light lister, you grab all your lights and switch them all off. You don't need lights and you don't need um, global illumination. Turn those two things off, then hit render. Then the only other thing to play with is the um, quality of the anti-aliasing, which is really low at the minute. But yeah, there you go. Um, you can increase the quality of the ambient occlusion by upping the samples of it as well. And where you find that, that will be in your material slot, Bloop. in here, in there. And these are instance, so it doesn't matter which one I select, um, I can just adjust it. So at the minute it's just going eight samples, it's quite low, but it renders really quick. So if you want to do a quick render, then you're done. Then that's, that's how far it goes, and these are the two colours you're using. Uh, the only other thing to play with in the whole of this thing would be what colour do I want my wires to be? And I've just said black. Black's fine. But you can do any colour you like. Um, yeah, well, that's it. That's that simple. So on that one, we'll hit stop. Thanks very much. See ya. Bye.